Hello, and welcome to our channel at New Wei Ming Law Group. My name is John Forrest, Senior Advisor for New Wei Ming Law Group. Today's topic is crucial for many applicants for petitions. What to do if your immigration petition is denied? First, it's very important to understand that a denial is not the end of the road, and there are many options available to you to pursue. But before you panic, make sure your application is actually denied. Sometimes the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service sends you a request for evidence or a notice of intent to deny. These are several follow-up actions following the submission of the initial petition, which are possible in the process of filing the petition. These are not denials, but opportunities to provide more information. If you get these, respond promptly, and you might still get approval for your case. A request for evidence or notice of intent to deny can be stressful, but they are your chance to correct misunderstandings or supply missing information. At Nui Ming Law Group, we have helped many applicants to overcome RFE and NOIDs to receive their approvals. If your application is indeed denied, the next step is critical. Read the denial notice carefully. The USIS provides specific reasons for denials. Often going through the actual submitted petition to respond and provide some analysis for why they have denied it. Understanding these reasons is key to your next steps. Common reasons for denial, especially in I-140 employment-based immigration, include lack of evidence for the employer's ability to pay, the employer not engaging in specialty research, or the beneficiary's contributions not being significant enough. After a denial, you have options, filing an appeal, a motion to reopen, or reapplying. If there's no clear mistake in the USIS's decision, reapplying with a stronger application often makes a lot more sense. Remember, the USIS doesn't restrict you from filing a new application. We've seen clients succeed on their second or subsequent trials. Let's take inspiration from an important example and a famous one. The founder of Zoom was denied a U.S. student visa from China more than seven times in the 1990s. He didn't give up, however. He persisted and eventually succeeded, leading to a successful career in the United States. This story is exceptional, but it carries a very powerful message. Don't lose hope. With persistence and improvement, approval is still quite possible. Remember, every case is unique. Seeking professional advice can be very beneficial. At New Wei Ming Law Group, we have helped many clients with their employment-based immigrations, family-based immigrations, work visas, and self-petitioned applications. We have obtained thousands and thousands of approvals for immigrants through the past 15 years. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more information content. Email us. As always, don't give up on your dreams. We're here to help, and we're happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.